right. We've got the legendary Mr. Roger Raglan. Thanks for joining us today. Oh, so, glad to be here. Honored to have you here and to have you on the team Spy Point. Good, good deal. Good deal. So I've got a couple questions for you. We know um, you've had the opportunity over the past decades, really, to, uh, to travel and to hunt uh, more than most. You've had a uh, great career in the outdoor industry. But my first question for you today is about 2023, your most recent season. What, what highlights stick out the most? What, uh, what memory comes to mind the first as uh, a really great moment for you this past year? Oh, we had a few. Uh, I guess we went down to southeast Oklahoma. It, back in the spring, I was looking for a place to maybe try to go shoot some hogs. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I'm online, and I run across this guy down in by Atoka, Oklahoma, which is down towards the Texas border. Okay. And, and I, and I, I call him and that, that and we're chatting and he said, "Well, we really got some good deer hunting too." I said, "Oh yeah, well let's talk about that." You know, <laughs> yeah. so we drove down there in August. He was 115 in the shade. Josh and I drove down there, looked his place over, and and I said, "We're going to come back during rifle season and, and give it a whirl." So uh, uh, he had you know some trail camera pictures of a couple of toads, you know. Some yeah. stud bucks that you'd shoot anywhere first day. Mm -hmm. And we're sitting in the blind the the first afternoon, and I didn't see the buck, but I know it was one of the target bucks. Josh, who's you know, running the camera, he just out of the he goes, Oh, there, there's a big one, there's a big one, he's on a doe. About two hundred and fifty yards, and I missed him. So get off into the brush. And Josh knows deer, you know, he's been traveling with me for mm -hmm. fifteen years, and when he says it's a big one, Buddy, I mean, it's, it. <laughs> it's a big one. And, uh, oh, but in the interim, another buck had come in there. You know, you got a hot doe and so, oh, oh, I think I see him. And he goes, oh, no, that's that's a little buck. He's twice that big, and this is a good buck. Yeah. And uh, I said, okay, well, give me those horns, man. You know, so I start rattling and grunting and trying to, you know, and it wasn't just a few minutes, the smaller buck come out. And this buck's, you know, in the 140s, 10 pointer. That's the smaller one? The smaller one. Okay. <laughs> you know, and, and he, he come running out, you know, and uh, I said, that's, the, Josh goes, that's the smaller buck. I said, yeah, you know what? He looks big enough to me. <laughs> <laughs> we shot him. Yeah. <laughs> you know? And uh, I called the outfit, he come out, he goes, he was excited, you yeah. know, he was glad we got one, mm -hmm. you know, and, and uh, but I, I said, you know, we, we didn't get the big one, you know, but uh, but that was a lot of fun, you know, when you get when you when you still can put your tag on a pretty good buck, you Absolutely. know, and, and uh, but we always, you know, I I try to go to a couple of new places every year. We we were down on the Mexico. The the older I get, the further south I go as the season goes on. I don't blame you. You know, <laughs> uh, I was talking to one of the uh, the, the ladies last night at dinner. And I said, you know, I used to spend the entire month of November in Saskatchewan, Alberta, uh, Manitoba. You know, I don't do that anymore. Yeah, that's cold. <laughs> that's cold. <laughs> I've been up there many times when the temp the temperature never reached zero. Yeah. And of course, you know, uh, so I, I go south more and spend more time down in southern Texas, and then in Me go to Mexico every year. You know, and we did we hunted a brand new place down uh, right on the in Texas, but on the Mexican border. And that's brush country, and and uh, at least the weather's nice. You know, yeah, it, sure. it wasn't a great hunt, but but uh, I, I get to hunt Rancho Cuevas. This is the seventh year in a row in Mexico. It's considered the the best whitetail ranch in all of Mexico. Really? So I'm very fortunate to go down there. It's not commercially hunted. It's yeah. by invite only. Yeah. How far into Mexico is that? Uh, just about 30 minutes. Okay. Yeah. It's not once you cross the border, and we drive across. It just you're there pretty quick. You know, yeah. and. Uh, uh, that's a, that's always a great experience. So, but every year, you know, every year, uh, I just finished my 37th shoot season wow. in the industry. So, and every one of them's different. Yeah. Like you have your highs and you have your lows. And, and we did we did a, a we did another. I try to do at least one wounded warrior hunt every mm -hmm. year. And this year we took a lady from Houston, Texas, drove to Tulsa. And we're hunting about 80 miles outside of Tulsa on a buddy of mine's farm. And uh, she'd never been hunting in her life. 
you know, but she was uh, uh, injured, uh, uh, got b blew up in Iraq, and she's, she's wheelchair bound. Okay. Uh, but really a neat, ga neat gal, and we sit in that blind on Saturday, and now I'm a whitetail hunter, you know, and, and uh, we never saw a deer. Never saw a deer, wow. and it was cold that day too. It was cold, and and so I'm trying to encourage her, you know. And now this is deer hunting, yeah. you know, and, and the, you know, this is the way it works. Yeah. And the next morning, we went down, and put out a bunch. Of scent. There was a scrape line down there, about 180 yards. But the little uh, the little buck came out, and I, I I I leaned over to Josh and I said, Yeah, I said just a small buck. He said, Yeah. And I looked over at her, and her eyes were this big around. Yeah. She'd never been deer hunting a day okay. in her life. And I said, uh, you want to shoot that buck? <laughs> yes! <laughs> Get your gun Take up it. there. Yeah, there's nothing, nothing to talk about. Yeah, I knew what awesome. he was going to do. I said, he's going to walk around behind this grass, no, and he's going to step right out here about 100 yards. I said, I'm going to stop him. Now, when I stop him, you're going to have to shoot, okay? She goes, yeah, all right. So she's, you know, she's on that guard. And sure enough, he did perfect, stepped out, you know, and I'm, eh, I nad at him. Ka pow! Boy, she cut out on him, you know, and he run off. He run off. And I like to have, even first time hunters, I like to have some fun with him, you yeah. know. I, you know, I, just, I saw she hit him. Mm -hmm. I think you missed him. <laughs> <laughs> He ran off. I missed him. I can't believe I went. You know, you know. Yeah. So we go down there, and there's, you know, we we know that she's, and I and I call her husband and the and the other guy that kind of put the arranged the whole hunt. Mm -hmm. I said, let's have some fun with this, you know. So so we go back to the blind, and it was and it was actually cute. Uh, her husband, he would go in. He they're they're both little. They're they're Koreans as well. Okay. And she would jump up on his back. And, and he put her in the car, you yeah. know, truck. And we took her down and, and uh, of course, you know, pulled the, pulled the buck out. And, oh, my Lord, when she saw her pulling that buck out. Awesome. In the, and she pitched a fin. Throw me down there! She, they, we, they pitched her down yeah. there on that deer. And you'd think she'd killed a one like this, you That's know. Awesome. So sometimes, you know, we, we can get kind of sideways in the road when, when we're doing this thing called deer hunting, you know. And we can take all the joy and fun out of it, trying to convince people that it's not a success unless you shoot one like this. Yeah. You know, and that's not always the case. Yeah, you're right. In fact, it's never the case. You know, the the, the joy and excitement and thrill and the, of, of of and the experience of deer hunting is an, on an individual basis. You know, and she was just as happy shooting this thing, you yeah. know, as she would have been one of these. You yeah. know, and that was that was. Probably the neatest experience we had all year long. You yeah, know? and then and in southeast Oklahoma, even though I didn't get to kill this one, mm -hmm. I got to kill a pretty good one. Yeah, for sure. Well, <laughs> you, you know, said the smaller one was uh, one forty. About one forty. Big ten point. Yeah, he's about one forty. Yeah, that's a great deer. Yeah, yeah he was a great deer. Yeah. So so awesome.